Hey, Facebook friends. Um, I was just informed about something really, really shocking. And I had to come on live right now and show this to you. Um, first of all, I, I spent a morning with a family sharing their story about some pretty deep corruption happening in the hospital systems. Uh, I'm helping them write their story and write a book. So I'm, I have a lot that I really want to share, but I was just looking at a post where, um, Someone said, hey, try this experiment, go to Google, type any three-digit number, and then hit the word new cases and watch what happens. And I did it four or five times, and any random number I picked showed up a new story about that exact number of cases. And I'm going to show it to you right now. I grabbed my husband's phone because I want to show you. I showed it to him, and I just, if you don't realize we are being played by the media, we are being played by the media, so I'm going to show this to you right now. Watch. Okay, this is my husband's phone. I'm in Google. I'm just going to make up an, a number, um, four, five, six. New cases. Go. And if you scroll down, look here. Four, five, six new cases. All right, now I'm just going to change the number to 888. Right here, another 808 cases. 888, 888. Pick another random number. My birthday is May 8th, so let me do five. Oh, 08 new cases in the google search oh look here it is san diego reports 508 new cases imagine that all these news headlines are exactly the number i put posted today is july 14th so let me do 714 Type in 714 new cases. Look at that. 714 have died from COVID. Are you guys seeing this? I want you to get your phone right now, and I want you to do this little experiment. If you're just joining me, get on your phone, go to Google, type any three-digit number, and put new cases afterwards, and watch what happens. And if you don't think we're being played by the media after you do that, I don't know what to tell you, but you guys, we have got to do something. We, the people, are losing our freedoms because we are being fed lies. And, you know, just the way they're reporting coronavirus, the way they're tracking cases, and now the way they're reporting it to us. If you think this is about a virus, you need to educate yourself. This is not about a virus. This is about us losing our freedoms. And this is very, very serious. So please share this message. Tag people. Do the exercise and wake up because you guys, in four months, our country has completely changed basically for a cold. I'm not doubting that some people don't have very, very serious um, side effects with COVID, but a lot of people have very serious side effects with the flu or with pneumonia. You know, this is a, a virus, but we've had viruses for hundreds of years and we've never shut our entire country down. The death rate is, what is it? Less than one half of one percent. We have seen the death rate drastically decline in this country. Cases are up because they're caught. They're also adding in probable positive cases. So look up the definition of a probable positive case in your state. In Texas, they changed the definition. A probable positive is anybody who has two or more symptoms of COVID. So if you sneeze, which a lot of people sneeze in the sun or sneeze with allergies, or if you cough, if you get something stuck in your throat and you cough and you sneeze, you're considered a COVID case and marked. In Chicago, if you are a positive COVID case they track everybody you've been in contact with if you've been in contact with 13 people that's marked as 14 positives based on the probable positives you guys there's so much corruption going on right now if you're just joining this feed i'm about to stop so you can go back and look but go to google type in any three digit number 
and type the words new cases afterwards and scroll down and look at all of the news articles. Do it as many times as you want. And I'm telling you, we need to wake up. We are being played. And I hope that you guys get this message and we can take action and stop this nonsense.